Hello everyone, we are back today with Newbie Byte number 20, all about the while loop. While loops are very exciting because you can actually repeat portions of your code as many times as you need to. You can kind of think of this as a consistent if statement. You're setting some type of conditional. As long as that conditional evaluates to true, this while loop will continue to repeat the code for as long as you want. There's a special form of this, which is the infinite while loop. And it's very common to see something that looks like this. While true, do something. Let's go take a look at what this looks like in an actual program. This is the entire contents of my while.py file. It is while true, print hello world. If I run this in Python, it will just sit here and print hello world over and over and over again until the inevitable heat death of the universe. If I turn on screen key so you can see when I'm typing, if I press Q, it doesn't work. If I try capital Q, it doesn't work. If I press escape, nothing works. If you ever find yourself in a situation like this, control C and it will stop your infinite loop from executing. When you're working with infinite loops, Python offers you two keywords. The first is break and the second is continue. If you reach the break keyword, you will exit the loop completely. And if you use the continue keyword, you will go from wherever you currently are in the loop back up to the top and re-execute the loop one more time. In today's example, we're gonna focus all of our energy on the break keyword. Here we are in the terminal. Uh, I thought that it'd be nice to do a little program called dad jokes. I went out and I found a bunch of dad jokes on the internet. I put them into a Python dictionary. Here at the top, I'm going to import random, and then we'll start writing our program. While true, first of all, we should probably ask them if they wanna hear a joke. Second thing is we actually need to get the user's response. So we'll call this ask for joke. We'll use input. When we actually compare this, we're gonna to check to see if they entered Y or N, and we want to make sure that it is only lowercase. The setup is gonna be one of the keys in this dictionary. We'll say that this should be a random dot choice. Remember when we talked about the dictionaries and we use the dictionaries dot keys function, it looks like a list, but it is actually a dictionary keys object. We're gonna convert that to a list by using the list function on the joke.keys method. Then we'll create the punchline. And we'll do this by going into the jokes dictionary and we'll look up the setup. Let's go ahead and tell the user that they should press enter in order to get the punchline. We're not actually going to save the user input, but we're going to use it to print out the prompt and give them the opportunity to press enter. And then let's print the punchline. Now we need to take care of the case where they don't want to hear a joke. So we'll say if ask for joke. And now we actually need to break out of the loop. If we don't break out of the loop here, we will jump back up to the top and keep going. Finally, if the user inputs something other than Y or N, we're gonna tell them that, hey, I don't understand this, please enter Y or N. All right, it looks like I do have an error, so let's jump up here and take a look. It looks like I forgot the S at the end of jokes because the dictionary is called jokes with an S and not joke singular. Let's go ahead and run this and see what we have. Do you wanna hear a joke? Let's say yes. Why was the broom late to class? Press enter for the punchline. It overswept. Let's try inputting some random text. And we'll say, I don't understand. And finally, let's say no. It says, okay, bye. We break out of the loop. And now our program has finished executing. Hopefully this gave you some insight onto how to use an infinite loop in Python. Good luck on today's bite.